Hello everybody, it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're back in Bay City, Michigan at the largest antique mall in Michigan. It's called the Bay Antique Center. Last time we were here was in June. Uh, we've never been up here before Christmas, so I'm excited to see what people have in their booze this time. So let's go. Look at Santa and the, the elf band. They're rocking out here in the front window. How fun. Look at this. Cobalt cut to clear. Wow. That is really pretty. 125 on the Rose Bowl. This vase. Gorgeous. Look at this. Beautiful. I spied a piece of Fostoria heirloom in the pink. I love Fostoria. I have never been able to pick up a piece um, to resell. Um, it does say firm on here at 22. However, this booth is having a 30% off sale, including firm. So that I think that would make that like maybe around $16. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get that. All right, this is one of my favorite cases. The last time we were here, they got some really pretty indent ornaments. Look at those little weird Christmas angels. They're five dollars a piece. The Fitz and Floyd um, Santa there. Got some knee huggers. Looks like they've got forty dollars firm on them. Some little left in angels here in the front. Those are cute. Little kissy angels. Oh, I like that. Holly Pixie there. $20. He's just a single shaker. Little Joseph Originals. Those are darling. Well, I don't see anything I need to get out of the case, but fun to look. We got a little Edward Mobley for $49. Also 20% off. And then a My Toy Rubber Faced Rabbit. $95 on that. There's also a whole bunch of giant Annalise up there, too. All right, wow. I have never, ever seen one of these in person. Um, this is the actually the head vase for the left in Miss Pris. Super rare. I have never seen one of these in person, only in uh, maybe a couple other people's collections, but 350 that's actually a fair price on that piece. It is, I don't throw that rare word around very often, but she is a, a rare kitty. Meow, meow. All right, we've, we've entered the rad pad. Look at all of the mid-century goodness in here. They've got a lot of stuff. It's just filled to the brim with things. Creaky floors and all. A little Millie Smith here. 32 on that. I love the blue. We got a little Georges Briard here. $12 on the little tray. Looks like they have 30 on the wood handled one. We got some little black piece. Got 40 bucks on that. Some fun vintage clothes. Look at this polka dot. Polka dot dress. That's fun. Glass flowers, $20 each. Those are pretty. I see a little Joseph Originals mouse peeking out here. I've got $22 on that. This is fun. I think this is in pulley. $40. Thirty-eight on little hat face. Crackled apple is thirty. Some Murano here for twenty. Twenty-two looks like. We got a fun art glass mouse. I am not really seeing anything for me in here. Get this chicken. That's cool. Got some really large 
ceramic trees. And they're on sale. $128 for this one, this 24 inch one. They've got $220 on that one, missing the star. Was $160, now $128. Lots of Christmas tucked in. And this booth also has a really cool case of ceramics this way. Got some drinkware and some barware. But yeah, there's some cool things in this case. Look at all the little kittles. I'm cute. There's an Earnhardt lady. Some Lefton. Some Muriel Dalton mixed in there. This little Joseph Originals music box girl playing the piano. And then we've got all the lovely lady head faces back in here. Very cool. I love the lady head faces. Fun to see them all collected together like that. Here's some more dollies in here. There's Mary Poppins back there. She's got $38 on her. Little Heidi in her pink dress for $12.50. Very cute. Oh, and the little Robin Hood Patsy. That's adorable. $25. We've got some little plastic Irwin babies in their crochet wear. Poor Pitiful Pearl back there in the corner. Look how cute all the little faces are. Look at this little cutie pie. Look how cute are you dressed in blue with your little bloomers. She's $12.50. And then this booth also is 20% off. Doesn't look like she has any repairs or damage. I think we're going to get her. She's darn cute. Oh, well, look, you guys. Homco, put it in your home, and Murder Elf is there. That's the first one that I have actually seen in person. They've got um, $20, no, $14 with 20% off uh, for the set. I've got two. These are Fenton Angels. Very pretty. Um, we've got 65 on that one. 50 on that one. And another Fenton vase here. We got $90 on that one. Wow, I can't believe I'm looking at this right now. So actually, um, Ariana at the Withering Cottage was just on a live sale with me, and she had one of these for sale, and she asked me if I knew what it was. She showed me the bottom, I was like, that's a Royal Copley bottom. And sure enough, it was, and I had never seen it before. And they've got it marked Shawnee, which it's not, and they have $79 on it. But I think it is a much harder to find a Royal Copley piece, um, but very cool to see that in person. I had to capture this gorgeous antique photo album on camera. Look at that cover. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. It does have the buckle still intact on the side. They have 135 on it. Of course, you can't really tell if it's got photos in there or not, but very cool. Look, it's Peewee in the box. How fun. They've got $100 on it. I spy a royal Sealy, a little kitty biscuit jar with the handle still on it. If I can reach the tag, they've got $98 on it. No, kitty, you're gonna stay in there. Ooh, look at the giant Siamese cat TV lamp. That's cool, I've never seen one like that. $225, this one I've seen before. They've got $150 on that one. And $1.99 on that one. Oh, we've got balloons Pyrex in there. Looks like they have $110 on that one. Got some more pretty lady head faces. Got the really big Napco. $249. There actually is a larger size than that, which is very, very hard to find. Oh, I like this little 
that one in the front. We've got um, 89 on her. Really cool. We got little Napco, little Santa. Look at the Atomic Starburst on there. Well, that one doesn't have a price on it. Fifteen dollars. Yeah, that's kind of right where they would we'd be. So I'm gonna leave those here. Oh man! So the last time we were here, there was a giant uh, Miro Star. Uh, Christmas piece that was on top of this case here. It looks like somebody bought it because it was a really good deal and it's gone. Well, there's Waldo. We found him. <laughs> He's got $18 on him. I was actually looking at the pixie head cookie jar. He's a hobbyist painted there. Looks like they did a pretty good job. I'm not seeing a price on it. I'm sure it's probably on the bottom. But cool to see him. Look at this gigantic, gorgeous piece of furniture. Wow. And what is this? Beautiful Victorian buffet Schaefer. Four thirty-five on that piece there. And then here's another really pretty. They have a lot of really beautiful antique furniture here. Got on that piece. Look at this paper mache head cat with a dress on. How funny is that? They've got a lot of cool vintage clothing in this one. The dollhouse. Got some, looks like they've got some sewing and some Barbie, some little penny dolls in there. Oh, that's a little tiny little. Oh, there's a some Ruthie Newton squeakers back in there. He's much harder to find with the brown than he is in the blue. Of course, I can't see the tags on them, so I'm not sure how much they are. A lot of very old toys. And they've got clay marbles. Five dollars each. Some jacks. Some old metal cars. Look at all of these little animals. Looks like most of them are between 20 and 35 for them all. Very cool. Alright, we're now in the upstairs. And look at this right at the top of the stairs. The fun Christmas tree and all the toys. How cool is that? I love all the records in the tree like that. That's so cool. It is a little dark up here, so hopefully you're going to be able to see what I'm about to show you. This whole little cabinet is all vintage Dutch things. Little things from Holland. That is really cute right there. But the whole case has got little windmills and little shoes. So, so cute. I love all the stuff collected together like that. So there is quite a large section up here of bigger furniture pieces, similar to the other ones I showed you. Um, and then there's, you know, bits and pieces to fix your lighting. There's lots of salvage pieces up here. Um, but there's also another really cool section of toys and things too that I want to show you. If you really need a big salad in your life, they have some, gi some giant forks. Um, definitely some primitive things. Really pretty pottery. That 47 on that one there. So yeah, there's a whole mixture of things that's up here. Just a lot of big stuff is up here on the, on the top floor. It's still here, you guys. Nobody bought it yet. I can't believe it. It would just make such a cool, like, statement piece. Especially if you collect squeak toys. It comes with all the squeak toys in here. I just love that so much. There's some really hard to find squeak toys in here, too. And, uh, you know, the piano. This is as is, so the piano probably doesn't work. But I think, how cool would that be just covered with more squeak toys or vintage toys in general. It's awesome. 
Well, I had to capture these lovely celluloid gals on camera. Uh, I think for Carol Fry, a glowy girl, I know she collects these, so those were fun to see. Those are a new addition up here since the last time I was here. Um, I'm trying to see. It's very dark in here, so I can't really make out what the tag says, but aren't they lovely? Look at this entire huge showcase full of vintage hats, gloves. Looks like there might be a couple purses mixed in there, but oh, look at the millinery on this one. $18, $19.20s it says. Love all that stuff just collected together like that. Such a cool case. Oh, look at, oh, look at the little muff. The little muff baby. She's $32. One of those Angora dogs, dogs on pillows. And then this entire case, all the way down, is just filled with toys. Look at the cool Disney stuff. Yeah, very cool. There's that. I have filmed this a couple times this year, this Tin Litho roller coaster. 175 on that piece. Look how cute these little shoes are. $8. Lots of cute little baby dolls and teddy bears. So darling. This might be the largest collection of candy molds, chocolate molds, I have ever seen. There's so many cool ones in here. Look at that. You ever see maybe like, maybe a couple at an antique show every once in a while, but never ever this many before and not such a variety of molds in here too. Look at the Kiwi. The um, pig here, it's got 685 on it. The bear, the big grizzly bear is uh, almost $1,300. Wow, and then we've got the Santa ones, the very old world Santa ones up there at the top, but so cool. I love that. And of course, if you need to replace a door, they have quite the assortment to choose from up here. And then we've got a whole bunch of more showcases. Look at the old photographs. Looks like we've got some cowboys and Indian things. Dolly furniture. Little dolly furniture. Got some camera. Looks like we've got some camera equipment. Cameras and things. Some more service memorabilia. They ha do have quite a lot of service memorabilia here at this particular antique mall. Lots and lots of it. Another really cool display window. Some antique ephemera and clothing in here. Look at the marabou feathers. The photographs in there. All right, Mama Pam said I needed to peek in this one with all sorts of boudoir and hair and perfume, ladies accoutrements in here. $9 on the little curler there. That hat, hairpin, hair comb, $25 on that. There's some more dresser things. And they've got a whole kind of circus theme going on here in the stairway. Not sure how I feel about that. We've got a lot of clown things. But they do a really good job about collecting 
similar things all together. Look at all of the printers and blocks. These are so fun to see all these together. You can totally make a display out of all of these. And I guess you, if you want any, you gotta go up to the desk and find out how much they are, but very cool. Here's some more chocolate molds. These ones are downstairs, but you can see, we can see some of the prices on some of them. Closer up now, 285 in the teddy bear. Look at the tiny little putz houses. And then, look at the car. That's cool, 325. All of the chocolate molds in here. Very neat. That giant chicken. Whoa, that would make a really heavy, solid chocolate chicken. Look at all of the miniatures and dollhouse stuff. My goodness. Oh, how cute is that little patio set with the umbrella? I don't know how much it is. It's so cute though. Look at the little play food back there. Oh, I love the tiny little stuff. So much fun. And there's more over this way too. Looks like they haven't dusted in here in a while. All the fun furniture. And that little drawer thing back there, 265 on that. Oh, that's a cute little set there. $39 on the little bed. And there's a QP postcard right there. I spied some Christmas. Look at all the beautiful ornaments. And I love the birds. 22 on the birds there. I've got some candle clips for $6. That's not bad. Some figural bulbs. Some bubblers. I've got some German sheep in there. Very cool. Look at this dollhouse. Wow. What's down in here? A little, a little Arwen cutie pie with the daffodils. There's some really cool ephemera in this in this particular case. Really cool. Look at these. Little German set there for $32.50. Some more dollhouse furniture. Look at that little couch. Lots of fun pieces in there. Yeah, look at these, you guys. They're the lantern slides. I maybe have seen one or two ever. They've got a whole bunch here. Looks like they're all like fairy tales, maybe? Very cool to see all of those, wow. Ooh, it's one of my favorites. It's a George Horner. Made in England. Candy tin. $10, yeah, we're gonna get it. Look at these cutie pie little bug kid candle rings, $4.99. And look at these little cats. The salt and pepper shakers, but their heads are the shakers. And then their bodies. How cute are those? Eight dollars? Yeah, we'll get those too. Super cute. Got some fun salt and pepper shakers. And those mice are cute. I know they're not very old, but they're cute. And look at the little monkeys. I think these are monkeys. Very cute. They're heavy. They're kind of that chalkware material. I don't really see anything for me though. Really pretty jewelry. I like that, that Christmas tree wreath. Really pretty sparkles. I don't really see anything that's necessarily jumping at, out at me. That appears to be a much older brooch there. I don't really see anything that is screaming to get the key and take me out of the case, but it's very pretty to look at. And we have a huge case full of lots of Fenton, I see. 
Lots of pretty pieces. Of course, I see the deer right away. I think they're, I'm not sure how much those are. I cannot see the tag that Ruby is over top of it there. I've got the snowman 95th anniversary piece back there. That's really pretty. Got a piece of Ellie Smith there. Really lovely pieces. Oh, there's a top. A Rosaline owl top of the fairy lamp there. Um, let's see, $20 for just the lid there. I mean, if you come across the bottom, that's really not a bad deal on that. This is really pretty right here. They've got 95 on that. Little rose bowl here is 55 Got some pretty perfume bottles down here at the bottom, too. Look at that Fenton piece in the back. 125 they've got on that piece. I love the colors in that. All right, it's getting dark here fast. So thank you guys so much for following along with us today at the Bay Antique Center. Such a fun store. It's a huge mall. So give yourself some time if you guys do decide to visit. Give yourself at least two hours to get through this place. Let me know down in the comments what was your favorite thing that I either picked up today or that I filmed. Um, I think I know my favorite thing, which was those chocolate molds. So cool to see all of those. So thank you again so much for following along. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.